Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is a video all about 2023 predictions. As we get into this, I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking in the beginning here. Feel free to skip ahead to where the actual predictions are. There were so many of them coming through that I'm just going <laughs> to, I didn't write them down. There was too much to write down. I'm just going to wing it here. But it's going to go in categories. That's how many there were. If you do not have time to watch the intro here and you skipped ahead, well, I guess you wouldn't hear me now if you skipped ahead. If you're still here and you plan on skipping ahead, please go ahead and watch that. When you have time, come back and watch this intro. I think it's really important not only in how to uh, receive and understand the predictions with within this video, but any predictions that you hear out there. Okay, I'm going to be talking about that. And then go back and watch the predictions again with that different lens. It'll be an interesting experiment and leave your comments down below. So first and foremost, I have always said I don't do predictions. And some people were <laughs> so quick to be like, you mean predictions are bad? Let me explain this. So first of all, it really depends on what kind of esoteric art you do. Okay, so if you're a psychic medium, then you have psychic hits. You're communicating. A lot of uh, mediums communicate with fourth dimensional beings, people who crossed over. Um, or if you do tarot or astrology, yeah, you can do predictions off of that. But I don't know how to do none of that, okay? I, I'm not a tarot person. I didn't study astrology. If you want that, then go to those people. <laughs> what I do is angelic mediumship. So angels and archangels cannot and will not interfere with human free will, okay? So what they give us is guidance. They'll give you warnings, but ultimately the decisions are up to you. So I get very disturbed when I see people, this is going to be controversial and I don't care. <laughs> people uh, using a traditional tarot deck, not even like a hybrid deck that has some angelic frequency to it with just the tarot structure, but like a strict tarot deck. And they're saying, my angels are saying, now, don't get scared if people are like, are they talking to, like, the dark side? There's nothing there. I'm looking at them like, what? <laughs> but years ago, angels got trendy. And, you know, I can't fault anybody for hustling. You know, I it's a hustle kind of world, and you got to take care of yourself, I guess. But they're not talking to angels. I don't care if there's some angel imagery with the temperance card or, you know, what was the other one? Does the lover's card have the angel in the background? I'm not saying tarot needs to be bad. It really depends on the reader and what they're doing with it. But just because there's angelic imagery, does it make it the high frequency that you would need to communicate with angels? Does that make sense? If you need more on that, I can make a whole other video about it. So to that end, the, the messages I give are a heads up, okay? They're not telling you what to do. So if you hear a reader say, Archangel Michael says that you're going to buy a box of chocolates tomorrow. <laughs> Can I get relaxed? I, I, I feel like it's one of those conversations. I'm really going to watch my language here. Um, What? What? No. Stop. Just stop. Archangel Michael's not going to come in here and tell you what you're going to do tomorrow. You're going to tell you what you're going to do tomorrow. Now, Archangel Michael will guide you to stay away from a place where there could be a catastrophe if you're tuned in. He's trying to protect you. But <laughs> I don't, I don't, some of these things that are just free will choices is ridiculous. So, uh, you know, the angels are not going to come in and speak to anyone's death. They've actually said that to me. We do not speak to someone's death. The way it has come through me is that we have exit points on our soul's contract. So again, whether you believe it or not, there is, I mean, there are other circumstances where someone invokes their free will over someone else's and does something horrible. But, you know, for the most part, the soul has got this, okay? And the angels and archangels are just trying to keep you kind of on track. Make sense? Now, when we talk about like a prediction, like a psychic reading type thing, I have those abilities, obviously, okay? <laughs> this is what I do. But um, that's where we can tune in to a potential trajectory. So this is where it gets into any kind of 
um, predictive reading, you have to understand it's not fact, okay? It is a prediction. That is what a prediction is. I feel like it may be this kind of sort of maybe a little bit, right? <laughs> so the thing with that though is there are so many different ways that energy can go. Energy is ever shifting and changing and you as a free will being will always be making decisions in accordance to those frequencies, okay? And we're always kind of interrupting each other's frequencies and shifting and changing. So when you're listening to a psychic prediction, I always say this, I've been saying this for years, it's taking a timestamp of where we are right now and the possible trajectory on that. Things could shift and change and that is why historically, I didn't want to go down that road because I saw other people who were doing psychic predictions just getting nailed by people. Just, oh, you were wrong. <laughs> you didn't do this right. <laughs> like, you know, you're terrible at this. They are picking up what they're picking up. It's filtering through them. They are delivering the aspect that they can. Okay. Now, more often than not, they weren't wrong. There's a very famous case where, um, let's, I'm not going to name names, but a psychic got... She she just had this incredible fall from grace because she had picked up on something but had it reversed. And I watched that person crumble and I'm like, that is so unfortunate because they actually have abilities. So I want to pass this along. This is something that I've heard. This is how it's been presented to me. So through angelic (laughs) communication. So it's like earth is a football field and we are all the players and every one of us has our own playbook and you can think of the angels the archangels your spirit guides as being the coaches and if you want to go even further you can imagine the stands filled with ets (laughs) watching the game watching how everyone's going to handle this and so you can come into this life you're walking onto the field with all this confidence, you got your playbook, but, oh, I gotta, I gotta be super agile and keep moving around everybody else who also has their playbook. They have their free will. And so we're essentially on this field maneuvering. What does that have to do with psychic predictions? Because you could come on the field and maybe that's when you're getting, let's say you're doing a personal reading and, you know, the plan was to go this way. The psychic reader is going to pick up on the plan of you going this way. So you get on the field and you're going that way and then somebody comes in and tackles you. <laughs> and when you get up, you're disoriented. Now you're going this way and then you come back and say, you bad psychic person, you told me. My opinion is that's a mess around and find out kind of situation. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of people who don't take accountability for their lives. So I wanted to set it up like that. Hopefully... That helps you kind of understand how all this energy works, right? And how we as spiritual practitioners, we all have our own, not only are we individuals with our individual approach, but we all engage in different arts and they don't all do the same thing. I told somebody I was an Oracle card reader just for simplicity, because when I say angel medium, either they think I'm really weird and they kind of, you know, and I got, I got to get stuff done or... (laughs) (laughs) or they have a million questions, which is awesome, but I got to get stuff done, you know? So um, I just said, I'm an Oracle card reader. And they were like, oh, that's so cool. I've always been fascinated by tarot. Yeah, me too, but I never studied it. So I ain't the one to tell you about tarot. I don't, so (laughs) not that I expect everybody walking around to know the difference between everything. It's absolutely fine. But when it comes down to you doing some bit of soul work and you're having to choose, um, What area you want to kind of, what do you need in that moment? Do you need uh, angelic guidance or do you just want the quickie answer through tarot? Tarot can be very practical and very helpful for that, okay? Like I said, it comes down to the reader and the practitioner. It's not necessarily the art that's good or bad, okay? Now, predictions. So I'm going to start off... It's going to be a long video. So let's, can I get cozy? I should have brought my other chair over. It's much more comfortable. So let me move this back. Angelic heads up warnings. I've touched on this. I've been touching on this for years. My sweater, my God. Lord. (laughs) 
kiss me. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I've been talking about this for years. Um, and I've gotten some other visuals that have come through. I will preface this uh, by saying I'm now willing to do, to go deeper into this because of things that started in 2020. Uh, and forgive if this is a repeat story for you, but I had had dreams. I had dreams where people were in a park in the mud and they were face down. And they couldn't breathe. And I was scared and I wanted to go in and help them. But I was told to leave them on their stomachs. That's how they need to be. Now, I don't know how long it was. A couple months, maybe a month later. We're hearing about the C word, okay? <laughs> and um, I remember when I saw on the news, they were showing the hospital and they had the patients turn on their stomachs. I think my heart went haywire. I think I literally, like it started getting irregular and I remembered that dream. Now I have dreams like that all the time and I don't pass it along, right? Because I have these feelings but the second you present something that is a psychic hit, people can shift their energy around it and keep it from happening, right? So if I were to say, okay, like in California, I was telling people, get out of there. Something's coming, okay? I keep seeing water around the West Coast. Earthquakes, I keep saying, get out of there, right? Now, I don't know that anybody actually evacuated but um, they got through. But just the presentation of that potential, like, hey, be aware of this. When everybody puts their collective energy around something and they really don't want it to happen and they're not coming from a place of resistance, but a place of awareness and preparedness. I can't explain it, but there's sort of like a settled feeling around it. Like, okay, if it does happen, we can handle it. Then all of a sudden it kind of isn't as bad as we thought or Maybe it doesn't happen at all, okay? So there's that. Anyway, let's dive in. So the warnings, weather, earth changes, still going to continue. We are in the destruction phase from 2020 to 2024. Please check out my video that has that in the title, 2020 to 2024, and also the 2023 uh, energy update overview. I have that on my channel as well. So all the weather, the earth changes, all of these what we're going to call bizarre occurrences will continue. Europe, look out, okay? The U.S., look out. I, I, I was just starting to feel something around Australia. Well, we were talking about weather and then they popped Australia in there. So Australia, watch. everybody watch out for your weather, okay? <laughs> like, everybody just take it easy with that. What I mean is don't. Don't do this thing that's just, in my opinion, weird, where you try to take on Mother Nature, okay? Where you think that's a great idea, like that's going to give you a good outcome. No, okay? <laughs> so especially if you're in hurricane-prone areas. Now, I'm not a weather expert or an earthquake expert. If you are one of those people and you want to put this into regular terms that makes sense, by all means, go ahead. <laughs> You can play interpreter here, but it feels just like absolutely insane weather patterns. Um, I don't even know if this is possible, but like hurricanes in the winter. <laughs> Again, weather people be like, well, it's called this, <laughs> right? You, you know what I mean? So um, just take it seriously. So Buffalo, Buffalo, New York, perfect, you know, perfect example. They get snow. They know how to deal with snow, but... <sighs> This was like beyond what they just, what was that, December? That was beyond. And of course, the floods in California. The other thing that I was getting a huge message around was the power of indigenous people. Now, um, if you are native indigenous and you want, I, I'm not in any way trying to take over your voice. It's a hit I'm getting. I'm going to lay it down there. It's really your story to tell. You know, let us know. Um, but what I'm feeling here is that... Well, first, this kind of goes into the, um, you know, human atrocities part of it. But there's going to be more things discovered in, in Canada 
coming down into the U.S. Yes, let's call them burial grounds, but you know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, if you guys don't know, social media is cracking down on us hard, okay? We have to use substitution words for things. Guys, there's a lot of silencing going on. So hang with me here, okay? So in part, this is, um, the earth is going through so many changes. And I don't know if it's proper to say that indigenous people are the earth keepers. Um, I'm not going to pretend like I'm well-educated on that. I'm not. But there's this feeling of, okay, enough. The fire has run rampant, okay? Let the earth keepers do their job and stop, stop stopping them from doing that. And then there's, so there's a uprising in, I don't want to say power because that's not, that's not what's happening. But um, some of the illusions are really cracking and falling away. And there needs to be, they're saying a clearing so that their voices can be strong and can be heard because we're doing it wrong. And spirit, ancestors, however you want to see that. I don't know if we've been in a test. Um, maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> we failed. Okay. And it's time for the people who know what they're talking about. Uh, we need to shut up and listen to what they have to say. And to honor their experiences. And uh, there's a lot to say around that. But this would be a four hour video. So there's going to be, in another way, a turning to Native and Indigenous people for guidance. Now, we've already done that with spiritual awakenings. We've been doing that for a long time, okay? Uh, help us, right? Help us understand our spiritual selves. Help us walk the path. You know, how do we deal with spirit? You know, all of that. But now it's going to go even further. So people are going to be in like a spiritual crisis and they might be turning um, to these various cultures all around the world. But then there's this other thing that's happening where it's like, uh, wait, I have to do things on my own? I have to work with the earth? I don't know how to do that, right? And so there's going to be, I don't know what this looks like exactly, but it does feel like leaning on... Um, I keep hearing people of the earth. Please correct me if that's not, let me know. Let me know. So it's your time. It's your time. And they're even saying now, this won't happen overnight, but we'll see clues of this. And there might even be an incident where everybody comes together and they put their foot down and they say, no, we told you no. So I don't know if this has to do with pipeline um, or something around that, or, uh, I'm hearing clearing of the forests. So that's more like Australia trying to clear. I don't, again, I, I don't have the context for this, but, uh, people are saying we told you no, and we mean it. And they're really standing up for mother earth and saying no more. Now, I don't know if this is the part to put this vision in here because I don't know what causes what I see. So I've been getting this unshakable image. It's the United States and Canada. I was sharing this on a live too, but um, it looks like, like a U-shaped crater. That's the best way I can describe it. And it's sort of faint and then it gets deeper as it comes down. It looks like it's kind of coming over the Dakotas. I don't know what causes it, but I was telling people that, you know, when I tapped into it, I got this feeling of war and like weapons. And I know some people are going to hear that and be like, oh, it's a meteor, or a meteorite or whatever. It's a meteor that hits the earth or I don't, I don't know if it would cause that. I don't know what would cause that. I'll just put that out there. <laughs> so um, it does feel like they're like covert operations. I'm going to be careful. I ain't trying to put myself in any danger for entertainment purposes. No. Okay. But we'll have to see what that is and what causes that. The angels do speak in metaphor sometimes. So that is a potential, but I don't know. We're going to have to see what the heck that is. Now I was putting in a post or I had put in a post 
that something would be happening around Yellowstone National Park. And yet again, in another live, I was saying about how maybe it's an earthquake or something that kind of, because I see these cracks opening and all this sort of like toxic fumes coming out of the earth. And then I also saw ash kind of blowing over in the air. I just heard about Salt Lake uh, City, some guy in Salt Lake City was talking about how the lake is drying up and that there's a toxic lake bed. And I guess that could put the toxins in the air. We're also hearing more and more about things that we use all the time or we consume all the time having the forever chemicals in them. Pots and pans. I think there's orange juice, lead in the KitchenAid things. I Allegedly. I don't know. I don't know. That's what's out there. Allegedly. But um, a lot of this stuff, like you notice like all the toxins coming out. And I think this is where we're going to see, as I was saying, everybody just kind of running to sort of the wise elders okay, or people who've heard from the wise elders who come back. Uh, is it Posh Mama who's on TikTok? Is that is that her name? I'm not great. I've, I've just kind of gotten into TikTok, so I don't remember everybody. But uh, she has all these natural remedies and things that she's teaching people. And, you know, we need to learn to be more self-sufficient. And so we're going to be leaning on that wisdom. And if they give it to us, be grateful. Be really, really grateful and have nothing but love. Nothing but love. But we'll get into the social stuff here in a second. But yeah, um, I kept feeling something around Switzerland. And I was meditating on this and I heard holding ground. Now, the way I pick up these messages, it's really through feeling in, in big part. I might go through messaging or um, visions and hearing and things like that. But there's a very different feeling between a natural disaster and a man-made disaster. I don't feel like Switzerland has any sort of, there's potential for a natural disaster there. There's potential everywhere. But this feels um, man-made, man-made somehow. And I heard holding place. Now, me as a human, and I need to make this distinction, okay? This is just me as a human with my ego consciousness going, hmm, does that mean someone's storing certain things there? I'm not getting myself in trouble, okay? <laughs> Which, if, if somebody's doing that, it's weird because isn't Switzerland like almost a meme for being neutral? Was that from World War II? I don't know my history. Not, not that well. Correct me if I'm wrong. So... Switzerland, are you okay? I think you're okay, but I'm hearing that there is um, a threat to your culture, a threat to how you live, for sure. Uh, and I'm hearing takeover. So again, that doesn't have to mean that it's 2023. You would see hints that it's happening um, already. So I think that's it for the earth changes when I was saying, like just extreme weather in Europe, um, there's a lot of eyes on Africa. Okay. So we know there are lots of, again, I gotta be careful. I hate this, but like, I gotta be careful. So G word happening in Africa. Uh, I'm hearing mines and things being discovered in Africa. And now they've got all these people coming in there and trying to strip the land. Remember what I started this prediction video well not there was a whole intro thing <laughs> besides that we started off with mother earth ain't taking your nonsense anymore okay <laughs> she's she not doing it okay so I don't know what these people are thinking I, well they're not thinking and that's the problem so again all over the world danger to people's cultures um heritage that sort of thing but Africa then, for monetary reasons, somehow becomes like a hot ticket, okay? And everybody's figuring out how they can invest in whatever is coming out of there, okay? I don't know what that is. Um, and there's some discoveries there as well. I'm just sticking with like the earth changes first. <sighs> okay. Hold on, something else is coming through here. Something around the Great Lakes. This is where I'm from originally. But 
that just feels like an energy coming from that whole region. It's just like this energy coming out. It's like, um, oh no, the bug. Oh, I didn't tell you guys about the bug. Wait. <laughs> do you love, do you love my approach on this? I don't think this is how most people are doing this. We're friends though, right? We can just be like this. Um, Great Lakes, they have like in Port Clinton, I think there's something called a mayfly and they're disgusting, okay? <laughs> now, I don't know what they do or what their deal is, but anyway, uh, there's something around the Great Lakes, uh, uh, an energy coming from there. If you've ever traveled or visited that area, it has a very ancient feel, feel about it. And there's also uh, a sacred serpent mound in Southern Ohio. You know, there's a lot of sacredness to all of that. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I just get a little creepy feeling around the Great Lakes region. I'm sorry, I don't have more. The bug, let me tell you about the bug. So I saw this bug and <laughs> not in real life, just like in a vision. And it was kind of nondescript, uh, except for its long sort of transparent, almost yellowish wings. And I saw it had a black body, six legs, did not look like a grasshopper. So I think locusts look like a grasshopper. I think, I don't know bugs. Okay. <laughs> uh, is it an entomologist? Is that what you're called? Um, let me know. Uh, but uh, anyway, I it was driving me nuts because I kept seeing this bug and it was going to wreak havoc. Okay. And I heard it's spreading disease. So it's not a mosquito. It's not a fly. It's spreading disease. It ruins crops. And I wasn't sure if the disease, the disease that this carries is for livestock or humans, okay? <sighs> Messed up. So I did a search and I was like, bug with long clear <laughs> wings. That's as, that's as good as I got. Cause there's, a, I don't do bugs. I don't do bugs. And I saw uh, cicadas come up. Now I'm not saying that this is a cicada invasion, <laughs> but it, it that's what I saw. And there's something around an insect causing some sort of whatever, okay? disaster and um it's not everywhere i'm feeling a pull towards maybe the southwest of the united states but we'll see could be into south america as well uh south america be prepared for earthquake um, look who i'm talking to be prepared for earthquakes like you don't know that earthquakes happen there but these are massive okay um if you guys haven't seen that footage from japan where there was like a 9.1 earthquake Ugh, like that's what we're talking about here okay so if you guys have questions on that segment let me know in the comments below and maybe I can tune a little bit more and see if I get any more information if I do not answer your comment I'm not ignoring you it's just I don't have any more information to give you know what I mean like if I you know just heart the the comment or whatever so where shall we go next Let's go to uh, social change. Uh, sorry to say this, but well, I'm not sorry to say this part. It's the year of the people. And I was definitely hearing, do not judge the people based on what their governments are doing. Because we need each other. We need each other big time. And if you are in an area like the United States where you have a very, very troubled history of abusing, terrorizing, I don't even know what other words to put, just horrors okay the g word to people when the time comes for all of us to come together don't expect them to be nice to you okay if you were treated that way and your whole family was treated that way for hundreds of years and the perpetrator comes to you and says i'm okay with you now you're okay with me right and they go no no, I think you're a monster. And you're like, oh my God, you know, I go through stuff too. You know, like, <laughs> you may not have acceptance. Okay, we got a long road of healing around this, but I do see things kind of breaking open a little bit here. Unfortunately, though, there's going to be 
on on our black community. I mean, just just not respecting your life, your lives, and we're gonna we're already seeing it. I mean, I'm not doing like this grandiose prediction, but I'm hearing waste of life and evil is really making its face seen. It can't hide anymore. And so unfortunately here, I I think we're in that period of, um, you can't make excuses anymore and you can't look away. It was BS when you did it the first time. Now you don't have a choice. Okay. Now what are you going to do? How are you going to make this right without expecting something in return? You know, the people who have been abused don't owe their abusers anything. So we're going to be seeing that. Okay. Obviously, I don't know what a black experience is like, but um, let us know what we can do. Let us know how we can help protect you because targeted. And then we talk about people on the border and all the atrocities that are going here in the United States, United States and Mexico border, all the atrocities that are happening there. Now, if you're very politically minded uh, and you want to mess around and find out, you make your choices. You make your choices. I'm going to always be on the side of humanity, not political ideals. To that end, um, again, there's more around indigenous children and women um, being uncovered and more around how our children are being harmed. And as, as awful as the beast saga was, fashion industry, all the horrible things that were going on in the ads that really showed what was going on, do not say the name, it is... I've said it here and there, but don't, don't say it over and over. It's a chant. Okay. Don't say it. But, um, as awful as it was to see that, I'm glad it was in people's faces because every time you start talking about this stuff, everyone just shuts down. Oh, I'm too stressed. So am I. Okay. We're all stressed. We're all wondering if we're going to have a roof over our heads. We're all wondering if we're going to be healthy. We're all wondering if something horrible, like an attack is going to happen. We're all there. That's why we need each other. And if you are not educating yourself on what's going on in Iran with the revolution there, or what's going on in France, what's going on in Congo, what's going on all over the world, stop looking away from those stories. Stop doing that. If you need another news source, figure it out. Make sure it's reliable, but figure it out. We cannot keep turning our backs on one another. All right. Now, I don't hear everything either. That's why we have this platform here. So let's try to let each other know what's going on. Okay. Oh, what else? So there's just so many things about the human consciousness trying to elevate. And, uh, we're just not taking it anymore. So from just lives being treated like they're disposable to not having healthy food, realizing that everything we have in our homes is potentially, allegedly filled with chemicals and like, we're going to be learning a lot. That's why I've been saying since the beginning of the year, we need to be spiritually fortified and we need each other to do that. We've been trained to be separated and that can't happen anymore. And if you're somebody who you are a carrier of darkness and you're a carrier of darkness, if you don't care about other people, I said it, if you don't have empathy, you've got darkness in you. Now we all have a little bit in us, but, or you're manipulative or whatever, figure out your pain with a professional, work it out. It's all hands on deck here, okay? You're not cute by being a narcissist. You're not cute going around using people. We don't need that energy, okay? 
So, oh, that was my ring. <laughs> so I think, I mean, there's just so much around that. If I get more, I'll, I'll post it. Uh, as far as a war, I got the weirdest. This was when I was like kind of in that in-between state of like <laughs> sleep and not sleep. And I asked the question, like, what is going on here? Do we need to be scared? And they said, here, you know, they gave me this image and they said, here it is. And the way I'll describe it is if we take all that situation and we take the essence of the energy out and we place it aside, it becomes two tiny cartoon characters in a slap battle. Okay. And what could potentially happen here is that someone plays chicken too long, doesn't bail out and oops, didn't mean to take it that far, uh, but we did. All right. So that is the potential there. So it's a whole lot of just back and forth and all of that. And, you know, I'm not trying to diminish a very, very serious situation. I'm just trying to put it in a way, hopefully we can pick up on the energy of it. So we as a collective, that's why we also need all hands on deck so we can keep this from occurring. Okay. Now, structures in place. Structures in place. Banking systems, governments, corporations, all of that. I've been saying for years, there's going to be an absolute crumbling of all of that. And it's going to put us into this tailspin. We're going to be panicking because we don't know how to live without those structures. How do we live without this corporation telling us how we're supposed to consume things? And what about that thing that I got kind of addicted to? Whatever it is, it could be a food. Like I kind of got addicted to a food and now it's not available. What do I do, right? Um, the banking system in particular, that well, they're all trying it. They're all try like, that's where the big layoffs are coming from. The government is taking benefits away. Like I think allegedly, <laughs> I have to say that, um, something along those lines. But, you know, the banking system, we had the BOA thing in the news, um, that, that's just, I feel like it's kind of part of the process. It's not acceptable. It's not great, but it is, all right, here. And we have to look at it. We have to contend with it. So as we go through all of these rumbling, crazy things that are going on, we need to go into a reset. And essentially, that's why this is all coming up, okay? So I think the banking system will try to go to a whole other system that will fail miserably. I will put this in here. I put this in here a couple of, well, not in a video like this, but I just said randomly in a video, I said, I feel like there is this wiping away of debt. Then there was talk of student loan forgiveness. And I was like, yeah, that's a start. But no, I feel like systems crash somehow. We're already seeing that. We're already seeing, well, with the FAA, they have the whole system glitch. We had a huge internet outage in my area. My internet has not been right since. Um, but there's something like, potentially, <laughs> uh, all the systems getting wiped out and having to wipe all the information and start over. So in my human mind, making the distinction here, this isn't like angelic messaging, in my human mind, I go, wait a minute, so does this mean it wipes everyone's debt and they can't get it back? Now, if you're sitting here listening to this, so you're like, yeah, and others of you are like, that's wrong, you pay your debt. Um, anybody who has debt has already paid it through the skyrocketed interest over and over and over and over and over again. So if it got wiped, Fair is fair. Fair is fair. Too much has gone on. I'm feeling something about school structures too. There's going to be a lot of contention around that. We're going to see some of the most outrageous legislation and um, trying to, ooh, just really control the kids through these, it's so bizarre. It's going to be in the South. Sorry, the South, but y'all troublemakers, okay? <laughs> like y'all, you're just trying it. I don't know, but um. There's too much to go into there, but it just feels like all these weird rules getting put in place. Now, I am kind of late to the game here posting this, so you might come in and go, Michelle, that already happened. Okay, fair enough. Like, I, I'm not going to win an award if I <laughs> get everything right, uh, but definitely there's going to be a lot of messiness around education. 
I did get the feeling I got to go back. Well, I guess it's still the social thing. I, I had the feeling that China goes back down under lockdown. Uh, and the feeling I get is that it won't be as severe as it was previously. But the people have not recovered. See, and that's part of everything that's going on socially. Even if things start moving in a good direction, people have not recovered from what happened previously. And so, you know, it doesn't make everything okay. And food shortages. Not here in the U.S. Um, I mean, you might say, well, we already have an egg shortage. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Get a neighbor with chickens or get your own chickens. <laughs> <laughs> or there's just a chicken shortage, I guess. But the, the, it feels more like, like it might be China. So I don't know what goes on there. I'm hearing contamination. <sighs> there's going to be a lot in the news about things being contaminated and not safe to consume. You don't need to go crazy and start buying up all the seeds and all the soil. But have something. Okay, don't, karma, karma. I can promise you the people who hoarded toilet paper during 2020 and 2021, I'd like to see how their lives turned out, okay? <laughs> that seems like a weird point of karma. I started on this road and I can't get back out. Uh, but <laughs> like, don't hoard is, is my point. Anyway. So the, the social, or not the social, the um, structures that be, we're going to be panicking because we have been uh, so under the spell of all of these institutions that we don't know what to do without them. It's sort of like the witch is melting. That's what it is. But remember the flying monkeys from the Wizard of Oz, they just look for a new queen. Okay, they, they <laughs> like we just need somebody else to lead us. Let ourselves be released. Okay, and, and we're, I think once we get into it, it's going to be a little more complicated than that. It was like, no, seriously, we're all acting like we could be so self-sufficient, but what the heck do we do? Go back to the barter system. This is where we're leaning on the natives too. Native cultures and people and going, how did, how did you manage hundreds of years ago before everyone came in and tried to destroy you? And I'll say it again, they owe us nothing. They owe us nothing. Better be asking for forgiveness and have gratitude for their presence because they're going to be the ones helping us, maybe, if they choose to. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. I think those were the major points with that. If you're asking about economy, uh, the economy has been messed up behind the scenes longer than we ever could have imagined. And there are freakier things going on than we ever could have imagined. Uh, and it's just now where they're like, okay, we can't hide anymore. We messed up, okay? <laughs> um, so don't be surprised. And, you know, I would never tell everybody to go into a panic and start doing stupid things. Absolutely not. Don't put that kind of energy out there. But we are going to have to band together. And all of us on this planet are brothers and sisters, okay? Brothers, we're siblings. We are siblings. And we need to heal. We need to apologize And if you don't, you can hear me or don't hear me. If you don't hear me, then get out of the way. Because the rest of us, we're getting strong. And uh, we won't be tolerating any of the previous nonsense. So when we talk about things, like you guys know that women's rights is near and dear to my heart. How women are perceived. We're already seeing the patriarchy losing its freaking mind. Have you noticed like a lot of social media things are either men whining or men get, wanting to get violent. <laughs> or they're doubling down on their misogyny. Like, okay, what? Listen, I, I don't even know. So we need to be careful with that as well. And uh, an attack on the LGBTQ plus community. It's all there. I mean, it's all there and we're not taking it anymore. That's why it's imperative for us to be healed as individuals. So that we can try to heal the collective and try to come back together. Okay, let's move to making the distinction, my little psychic predictions on pop culture. I, um, no hate to any other person who does predictions whatsoever. 
a lot of people out there who are very, very good. I'm not comfortable with predicting celebrity deaths. I just think it'd be real creepy if I was a celebrity and someone predicted my death. I'd be like, Bleh. what the heck? Oh my God, how? <laughs> What's going on? But I will say that just like we've seen in past several years, there's going to be like a lot of celebrity deaths, a lot of them. Um, but I will say that there, you know, people have been talking on social media about Britney Spears and you might laugh, oh, Michelle's talking about Britney Spears. Britney Spears is a human. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to talk about a human being. I just feel this utterly, like I get a pain in my chest when I hear her name. And I think we're going to hear some really tragic news surrounding her. And no, it's not what we've already heard. Okay. Um, about what she went through that we didn't know. Again, I'm treading lightly around this. This is just a video for entertainment. I'm not endangering myself over this. Some other things, um, that I think will be occurring. I think there's going to be a complete dumping of the system and everyone's going to go rushing into uh, really doing everything for themselves. Now, this is going to be hysterical. <laughs> I, I really see that what we're going to be seeing uh, because people are using social media as a way of communicating and all that. I think what ends up getting put out there um, would be people's failures. Like I tried to grow lettuce and this is what happened. Um, I tried to knit for the first time. Look what I did myself, you know. <laughs> so there's a lot of that. And as far as like certain platforms going, I definitely feel like there is yet another platform. It's a short form content type platform that I wonder as a human, if that's not coming in to take the place of TikTok. So I kind of wonder if a ban of TikTok does end up going through and this opportunistic platforms like, ooh, <laughs> here we come, you know? And then the rest of us who have this as a business are like, really? Another one? <laughs> we gotta, gotta go learn that one now. Uh, we're gonna be hearing quite a bit out of children. I wanna speak to this because we do have um, what people are referring to as Gen A. Gen A would have started to be born in uh, around 2015. I've heard other people refer to this generation as the Phoenix generation. So we're already seeing children who, you know, bullying. Why, why would you do that to someone? You know, that's kind of their response. And if they do come, uh, come across a child who is a bully, they go, that's a bully. They got to be going through something at home. They're coming in. If you've noticed babies being born, I, I have my, I don't know if she's my granny. She's my nephew's daughter. My grand, grand aunt, great aunt. <laughs> anyway, she was just born a few weeks ago and she's already lifting her head up. She's super alert. She even smiled a little bit. Now people are like, no, that was gas. Okay, maybe, but a little strange. Like they're all very advanced. Uh, my nephew, who is now seven, he knew how, he came in and electronics were like innate to him. Like he... Literally one year, when he was one, one, sitting on the couch with his little binky. It had the old timey sheriff mustache. I got that for him <laughs> on it. And, he, and I was like, he turned on my flashlight. We needed a flashlight. And he had my phone and he turned on the flashlight. And I was like, baby, you, how'd you do that? Binky in his mouth. Can't even talk yet. And that's what he said, was saying a few things. But he just swiped out and swiped and showed me where the stupid flashlight was. <laughs> and I was like. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Huh. Wow. Okay. Cool. They also have supersonic hearing. So careful on that as well. Don't talk about them in the other room because they will hear you. Um, as I say this, I don't want this to go into the kind of weird thing that people were doing with the indigos and the crystal children where it was like their parents trying to live vicariously through their children and putting the weight of the world on them. Let's not. Okay. <laughs> but this generation is here to help us get through. So there's going to be it, the, let's talk to Gen Z here. And I'm speaking in generalities here. So forgive me. But Gen Z, the young women, okay. Um, we're going to see this thing of, uh, 
kind of want to put this. Yeah, I guess we could loosely say independence. It's, it goes beyond that. They are the ones speaking out about things that my generation just accepted. Now, you can argue and say that's already happened. This is going to happen to like a big way. Like we ain't seen nothing yet. So I really hope this isn't triggered by some incident where, I don't know, um, it might be triggered by an incident. And then it goes off and uh, the young ladies are standing up and saying, we're not doing this. I see protests at universities um, and it's it's in the U.S., U.S. and maybe Canada, too. It's not it's not what we're talking about in Iran. But uh, I see that going on. And it again, the idea here is that if we all kind of stick together here, we'll be able to come on through. Let's see if there's anything else. People, the, the here's what's weird. I get this feeling like the economy, we're going to be told like the economy is terrible. It's falling apart. And yet people are finding finding their way into their spots. So it is kind of this thing of like, you can put whatever narrative you want out there. I'm going to remember that I'm creating my own reality. So in a weird way, and maybe I'm biased because I'm a spiritual practitioner, but it's kind of like people know not to listen to that. So that no longer affects their manifestation capabilities. So if someone's like, oh, the housing market, you couldn't, even though it's cooling right now, but like, can't get a house, you know, whatever. And you're like, oh, but look, I, I just got one. <laughs> or you can't find a job out there. And you got one. Okay. So a lot of changes. I mean, just so many changes. And we have to get comfortable with being in flux. Okay. That's, that's the big thing here. And if you want more like celebrity stuff, I, this is already a very long video. They're focusing more and I was focusing more on like the bigger topics. But um, I don't know. Going back on the Britney Spears thing, I know you're like, that's the one pop culture thing you're commenting on. Um, she feels tragic like Marilyn Monroe. Now, I'm not saying that she's going to meet that same end. I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not going to go there. But you know how like Marilyn Monroe find out how she was used, um, what happened to her, like how she was treated and all that. So... Again, we will have to see. This is such a long video. <laughs> leave your comments down below. Uh, let me know how you feel about things. And we have to leave it there because, my goodness. Anyway, I'm sending you all so much love and take care. <laughs> Bye-bye.